Hello everyone, welcome to another Windows 11 Insider Preview video. My name is Ed and in this video I'm going to touch on the new settings called Windows Terminal. Previously you could switch between Command Prompt and PowerShell. Now you may be wondering what am I talking about. So if you right click on the start menu you'll see that it now shows Windows Terminal and Windows Terminal Admin. If I have to click Windows Terminal, you'll notice that it launches PowerShell. Now, don't be alarmed that it's launching PowerShell 7 that I'm running on the machine. I'm actually running this uh, because I, I work with Office 365 stuff and obviously also with the legacy PowerShell. When I say legacy, it's obviously because it's defaulting to this. Now, the normal PowerShell or legacy is still here. If I launch it as, as admin and you heard the new sound, the sounds have been improved, have been changed. So Windows Terminal is essentially um, PowerShell. Now Command Prompt is not gone. If you type in CMD, you'll notice how quick it actually launches or searches. And then there's the sound again. And you can see I, I now have um the three windows command prompt powershell which is the one built into windows and then obviously the new one so to keep this video short for you um you'll see now that on the start menu if you right click you have windows terminal if you right click on the desktop you also have a thing called or a menu not a thing called open in windows terminal so same thing as you can see um so that's one of the few changes but so don't be alarmed if it's like oh gosh you know what's happened it's just the new windows and obviously with the upcoming changes there'll probably be a place to change it to launch uh, command prompt I'm not sure um, on what the history of that's going to be but on the change but in Windows 10 you could have changed it to either PowerShell or to uh, command prompt so there you have it, that is Windows Terminal for you, aka PowerShell. And you can see that um, Windows 11 obviously allows you to run PowerShell, the, the newest version, PowerShell 7. This is preview mode. Um, I will obviously install the full build of PowerShell 7, but at the moment I'm still busy testing. So thank you very much for watching.